Dominique Jackson has the ball on the 40-yard line. He's teeing it up there. The ball will be spotted in the middle of the field. Dominique stepping back. He's waiting on the official's whistle. Back deep for the Warriors. That's going to be number two, Aaron Meeker. He stands at the three-yard line. Dominique has been outstanding in the kicking game the last couple of weeks. He has the whistle, and we are underway. High end over end kick back inside the 10-yard line. Be taken there quickly up to 15-20. 25 in the middle of the field to the far side, bounce up the 23-yard line. He'll go down there. A lot of Tigers in on that tackle. 46, Jamal Bussall, <laughs> the first man off the pile. Cottage Hill will put it in play first and 10. The line of scrimmage is the 25-yard line. Our vantage point, not the best one. We are not in the press box. Not enough room in the end, Mary B. Not enough room, but hey, they ought, they get to see us tonight. I wish, I wish we were at home. Little deck down just outside the sidelines, somewhat elevated. Very nice place to watch the game. Where it's not always going to have the best angle to see who's making the tackles and see what yard line they're necessarily on, but we'll do the best we can. First and 10, Cottage Hill, quarterback in the shotgun formation. Wide outs to either side, two backs in the backfield. He comes straight back, fires inside. Go. That's going to go incomplete in and out of his hands. Kadarius Jones on the coverage there for the Tigers. That'll bring up a second down and 10. Butler's pass in the left flat. Cottage Hill's had some struggles this year, especially on the offensive side of the ball. Second down, 10, Cottage Hill. The ball stays in the middle of the field. Once again, wide outs to either side, a tight end to the near side as well. The near side, the Cottage Hill sideline. Quarterback now goes under center. They're going to get to off right guard, the running back, first man through. He's going to get up to about the 29-yard line. He'll go down there. The big tight end, number 17, Joshua Limley, running the play in. Joshua was really good in basketball. Watched him a couple of times last year. Had a couple of catches in last year's ball game. Pretty good athlete over there at the tight end position. Wide outs once again to either side. Motion man out of the backfield. Quarterback's going to keep it around left end. Up near the first down marker. Oh, he He's going to have it. He's going to have more as he gets across the 40-yard line. Maybe the 41. That's going to be a pickup. That's going to be a pickup of about 10 yards. So a nice job there by the quarterback, number 14, Cole Butler, picking up the first first down of the night's ball game. It'll be first and 10 from there. 10.43 here to play in the first quarter. This the opening drive. Wide outs to either side. Backs now in an eye formation. They're going to get the fullback off left guard. Nothing there. Jalen Jones has him. Allen Boyd, Cameron Coleman, Charlie and Johnson all coming to finish him off. So that play will fail to gain. They'll actually spot him maybe a yard loss. We'll call it second down and 11. Aaron Meeker with the carry up the middle for the Warriors. Gets back to the original line of scrimmage. Tiger band a little late getting on campus here tonight. They're still kind of unpacking instruments and getting set up on the visitor sideline. But they are here safely. I don't know. If, are they standing up? There's no bleachers. Yeah. I don't know if they're just going to hang out with their – I don't know what they're going to do. Second down 11. The ball stays on the far hash. Now the Warriors in a two tight end set, wing T formation. Warriors being multiple in this opening drive. Quarterback goes straight back. He looks, he rolls the near side. He fires. That's going to be intercepted by Kellen Wynn. He's in Warrior territory down to the 40-yard line. Nice read there by Kellen Wynn. Coming up from the safety position. Broke on the ball beautifully. Has the interception and has a Tiger offense in business. First and 10 at the Warrior 40-yard line. Nice play there by Kellen Wynn, Mary B. That was very nice by Kellen Wynn. That's what these Tigers needed. <laughs> Tiger offense on the field for the first time. 9.43 here to play in the opening quarter. Tiger defense just creating a turnover via the kill and win interception. First and 10, T.R. Miller, the tight end to the near side. Win the long wide out to the far side. Backs in the eye formation. Lodge now motion to the near side. Now motions back. Tall sweep to the far side. Dominique Jackson breaks a tackle at the 40. Stiff arms man at the 35-30, 25-20. Cut down around the 15-yard line. Big pick up there for the senior tailback. That's going to be a pickup of about 25 yards in the Tigers' initial first down of the game. At about the 18-yard line, it'll be first and 10 from there. Wide outs to either side, lodged to the near side. Wind to the far side, backs in the eye formation. Smith, the quarterback, goes under center. He's going to give to Jackson off right tackle, makes a man miss the line of scrimmage, falls forward. That's going to be a pickup of about six yards. That'll bring up a second down and four. Nine minutes even here to play in the opening quarter. Tigers threatening. Twin wide outs to the near side. Johnson on the outside. Lodge in the slot. Backs once again the eye formation. Coleman now motions to the near side. He's going to have on the swing pass. He's inside the 10, 5. He's going to go in. Touchdown, T.R. Miller. So four plays. T.R. Miller offense covers 40 yards. That's going to be a touchdown for 
Quickly out in front, 6-0. Charlie and Johnson will come on for the extra point. His first of what will probably prove to be many opportunities here tonight. Jones Manning will be the holder. Chandler Brown the snapper. Man gets their instruments out just in time to get the fight song going. <laughs> That's what I was just thinking. That away, man. That away, Mr. G. Snaps back, the hole's down, the kick's up. That one's through. So 8.40 here to play in the opening quarter. T.R. Miller, seven. Cottage Hill, zero. Dominique Jackson, once again, teeing it up at his 40-yard line. He'll tee it up in the middle of the field once again. If you missed it earlier, Dominique has really improved on his kickoffs each of the last couple of weeks, consistently getting the ball back inside the five-yard line with plenty of hang time for the coverage unit to cover. Here's another one, not quite as deep, but it is going to hang up nicely back to the 15-yard line, quickly at the 20, 25. Bam, cut down there. Ball's on the ground. I think the Tigers have that. That's going to be Jamal Brutsall with the fumble recovery. <laughs> 46, there he is. I think Trip Floyd may have cut him down. I couldn't tell who had the initial contact. Ball came out. Jamal Brutsall. They just need to keep him in. I don't know why they keep taking him out. Tries just to scoop the in. score. He gets it down inside the 20-yard <laughs> line. So the Tigers back in the red zone again. Tiger offense back on the field. Two turnovers created now by the Tigers defense slash special teams. Has had the offense set up nicely on both occasions. Two tight ends now in for the Tigers. Back stay in the eye formation. That's going to be Tamaric Jenkins. Keon Smith rolls the near side. He fires out in the flats. He has Jalen Jones down to 10-5. Makes a man miss around the goal line. He's Touchdown. in. <laughs> Touchdown, T.R. Miller. The band barely with enough time to catch their breath. Crank it up again, Mr. G. Actually have Dylan Etheridge getting them this time. Mr. G may be a little tired from the last rendition of the fight song. So T.R. Miller's won four offensive plays here in the first quarter. And it's 13-0. Charlie and Johnson back on for his second PAT attempt. First one, good. 8.24 here to play in the opening quarter. T.R. Miller 13. Cottage Hill zero. Extra point on the way. Snaps back. The hole's down. The kick's up. It's blocked, but it's going to get through. So Cottage Hill getting a hand on it. Not enough to keep it from being true. So T.R. Miller 14. Cottage Hill zero. Terry Samuels with a dislocated elbow. He's out for his third straight game. So uh, got news, I think, today that Hunter Britton's going to be on the shelf for the rest of his freshman year. Hunter, one of the outstanding freshmen at T.R. Miller this year, was brought up on the varsity. He's had some uh, nerve issues in his neck slash shoulder area, so that I think more precautionary than anything, he'll be out for the year. Hope we get him back healthy as well. I do, too. I know his heart is hurting big. Dominique Jackson with his third kickoff of the evening. That's going to go out of bounds on the far side of the field. So they'll bring that one out to the, I'm not sure if they spot the 35 or the 40. But Cottage Hill will take over there first and 10. Let's see, I think they're going to they're gonna put it down at the 35. So it'll be first and 10, Cottage Hill. The line of scrimmage are on 35-yard line. Cottage Hill breaks the huddle. Quarterback's going to go under center. Actually, he's going to back up. No, the quarterback is going to be under center. Two backs in the backfield, wide out to either side. Tight end to the far side. They're going to give it number one off left guard. Makes a man miss. Breaks a tackle at the 30-yard line. Gets up to the 34. That's going to be number one, Brandon Pinckney. So Brandon picking up eight yards on the first down. That'll bring up a second down and two. The line of scrimmage now, the Warrior 44-yard line. Mary B, I'm all for beating up on them pretty good because they return it in basketball. Great basketball team. I don't remember playing them They're, in basketball. Well, I've watched them bo uh, both games down here and, and, of course, at Miller, and they drilled us. They were a very, very good basketball team, so we probably need to take our cracks at them while we can here tonight. Second two, they get the first man through off right guard. He has the first down and a little more as so he gets up to midfield. So a nice effort there by the fullback. Let's get his name and number. That's going to be 37. That's one of our captains tonight, Jonathan Williams. So Cottage Hill getting their second first down of the night. Caden Castleberry now in for the Tigers. Michael Murray in as well. William Yancey Jernigan and Tripp Floyd all in. So the Tigers getting fresh bodies in. Got a little movement up front. 
didn't see the flag. William Yancey Jernigan getting penetration. He's going to have the tackle for the loss there. That play's going to lose one, maybe two. We'll call it two. That'll bring up a second down and 12. So William Yancey Jernigan lining up on the near side of the outside linebacker position. They call it the strike in the Tiger huddle with a tackle for a loss. Nice play, William Yancey. Uh, but I do want to tell everyone to put on their calendar um, the 24th of October. That's Miller Neal week. Uh, we're doing Tiger Talk at Whataburger from 5 to 6 that Thursday. And then uh, we're having Whataburger night with the, team, with the band and the T.R. Miller Quarterback Club. That sounds like a fun night. From 5 to 8. So bring your families. Bring You can come to the drive-thru, pick it up, take it home. And uh, they're going to give us 20% of the proceeds that night. Second and 12, Cottage Hill attending a pass to the near sideline, the Cottage Hill sideline. That pass going to fall incomplete. Kadarius Jones on the coverage for the Tigers. That's going to bring up a third down and 12. The ball at the just outside the 48-yard line. Another third down opportunity here for the Tigar Miller defense. Tigers will probably create a little pressure here in what is probably a passing situation for the Warriors. Twin wide outs to the near side, a lone wide out to the far side. The quarterback, Butler, is going to be in the shotgun formation. He has it. He's throwing the inside belly screen. That's going to go incomplete. Allen Boyd doing a very nice job from his defensive tackle position, read the screen all the way. That pass will fall incomplete. Cottage Hill going to show punt. Tigers going to send in uh, Kellen Wynn. He's taking the place of the injured McHenry Coleman. Kellen did a nice job in last week's game, the couple of punts he got to return. He stands at about the 18-yard line. Snaps back. Tigers showing a little pressure. They don't get there. Wynn lets it hit. He takes it at the 15, makes a man miss at the 20, cuts back to the near sideline, 25. He'll go down to the 28-yard line. So the Tiger offense back on the field, 6-18, here to play in the opening quarter. T.R. Miller, 14, Cottage Hill, 0. Wide out, stay their side, lodge to the far side, the far side, the Tiger sideline. Win to the near side, backs in the eye formation. Keon Smith, the quarterback, goes under center. Dominique Jackson off right guard, makes a man miss at the 40, 45, wow. 50, makes another man miss, 45, 40, they're 35, not, 30, 25, him. 20, 15, 10, wow. 5, touchdown, T.R. Miller. <laughs> five plays, three touchdowns. T.R. Miller, 20, base side, 0, 606 here to play in the opening quarter. Dominique Jackson with three carries, two of those, two of those going for, excuse me, one of those going for a touchdown. Jalen Jones has a score tonight, as does Cameron Coleman. So the entire Tiger backfield taking turns here tonight. Chardian Johnson back on for the extra point. Jones manning to hold once again. Chandler Brown, the snapper. Snaps back, the hole's down, the kick's up. It's good. So 6.06 here to play in the first quarter. T.R. Miller 21, Cottage Hill 0. And we're back in Mobile, Alabama. T.R. Miller 21, Cottage Hill 0. Charlie and Johnson in to kick off the T.R. Miller Tigers, giving Dominique Jack Jackson a rest. Ball's going to be turned out to about the 28-yard line, maybe the 27-yard line. That was number 12, David Carpenter, on the return for the Warriors. Warriors will have it first and 10 from their own 27. Ball spotted in the middle of the field. Trip wide outs, excuse me, twin wide outs to the far side. Trip wide outs to the near side. No backs in the backfield. The quarterback, Butler, in what they call the zero set. Tigers showing pressure. Here they come. They fire to the far side. He has Pinckney out in the flats. Tigers on him quickly. That play picks up one, maybe two yards. Looks like Kadarius Jones, number 34. And I think Caden Castleberry. Castleberry on the tackle there for the Tigers. So that play does fail to gain, second down 10. T.R. Miller leads 21-0. The scoreboard says 20, but I know the extra point was good. Once again, the Warriors in the zero set. Got time on the field. 
Maybe for the scoreboard? Shot clock. Nope. Got, got time out. Time out before the shot clock expired. So we're going to take it with them. 5.08 here to play in the opening quarter. T.R. Miller 21, Cottage Hill 0. One score to pass along. W.S. Neal 8, XL 0. Roughly 10 minutes to play in the first quarter at homecoming W.S. Neal. Atlanta Braves 2, L.A. Dodgers 1. That game being played in the top of the seventh. We'll continue to pass along scores as we receive them. Our game here, second down and, and 10. The ball at the Warrior 27-yard line. Trip wide outs to the near side. Twin wide outs to the far side. Quarterback in the shotgun formation. Peatney now motion to the far side. Under pressure quickly. Bam! Wow. Completed pass on the far sideline. Kadarius Jones up quickly. Big hit on the far side of the field, the far side of the Tiger sideline. Kadarius Jones already with three or four nice plays here early in this ball game. That play's gonna lose two yards. That'll bring up a third down and 12. So the Tiger defense once again creating a third down opportunity and another chance at a possible turnover or a three and out. Castleberry at defensive tackle, Jamal Blutzall at nose guard and Allen Boyd Rounding out the Tiger defensive front, Chandler Brown, Davis, Floyd, and Cameron Coleman, the linebackers. Wide out to the far side, wide out to the near side, tight end as well to the near side. Flags down. Thought like we're going to have movement up front. That may be another five against Cottage Hill. We'll wait for the confirmation. They're going to wave the flag off. There is no flag. Shot clock did not get reset. One shot clock showing 12, one showing zero. They're going to probably just have them turned off. I'm going to tell you, mo most of the places we go, we don't even have them at our, at our stadium anymore. Shot clocks evidently have some tricky electronics to it because it's well, hard I, to get them I, synchronized. I often wondered why we didn't have one at ours. We used to have them, but uh, Coach Riggs preferred not to have them. He said the only time they ever got to lay a game penalty is when the shot clocks were on. Because the players because they're got, watching it. kind of got to <laughs> used to watching it, so he just had them taken out. I can understand that. So here we go again. The, the refs will keep the time on the field. Once again, third and 12, wide out to either side. Butler, the quarterback in the shotgun formation. He goes straight back. He looks. He looks to the near sideline. Uh-oh. Oh. Bam! <laughs> Get your tee time here in Cottage Hill. Caden Lodge with that one. Pass caught once again, and that play is going to fail to gain. But the Tiger defensive back is just teeing off on the receivers for the Warriors. Killing Wynn back once again. He stands at his own 45-yard line. Tiger's getting pretty good pressure on the last punt attempt. Not quite getting there. Showing pressure again, maybe. Here they come. Wow, and the low-line drive. Wynn takes it at midfield. Makes a man miss. 45-40 down the near sideline. 35-30 down to the 28-yard line. So Killing Wynn. Filling in for McHenry Coleman, doing a very nice job. Returning punts, has the Tiger offense set up again, this time at the 28-yard line. Twin wide outs to the far side. That's going to be Lodge in the slot, win on the outside. Backs in the eye formation. Tamaric Jenkins, the tailback. First man through is Jalen Jones. He gets down inside the 25, maybe down to the 23-yard line. That's going to be a pickup of about four, maybe five. It will be five. It'll be second and five from there. Jalen Jones... Kind of has a way of disappearing behind that big offensive line. And before you know it, he's picked up four or five and moving the chains. Jones manning in for the first time. He replaces Wynn. Peach, Jones, Major, Brown. Castleberry, and mm -hmm. Whitworth, the big uglies up front. We'll throw Chandler in that mix as well. <laughs> Second and five. Tamaric Jenkins off right tackle. Hit the line of scrimmage. Bounces back to the near side. He's going to have the first down. As he gets down inside the 20-yard line, maybe down to the 17, that should be enough for a first down, and it is. They'll stop the clock and move the chains. So the Tigers back in the red zone. 2.35 here to play in the opening quarter. T.R. Miller 21, Cottage Hill 0. Wide outs to either side, wind to the near side, lodge to the far side. Ball's on the ground. Keon Smith picks it up. He's going to go to the far side. He breaks a tackle, dives forward, so a near miscue. Keon Smith, athletic enough to pick it up, get around right in. He's going to pick up six. They're going to, yeah, we'll give him six. That'll be second and four for the Tigers. So even when things go wrong for the Tigers, Mary B, things seem to go right. 
Well, if, just like you said, if Keon's in there, he'll make it right. Second down four, T.R. Miller. We're under two minutes to play here in the opening quarter. T.R. Miller leading 21-0. Backs in the eye formation, wide outs to either side, Manning to the near side, the ball on the far hash. They're going to run the counter back to the near side. That's Jenkins. He has the first down. He has more. He's still on wow. his feet down near the goal line. He's going to get down to about the two-yard line. Good determined running there by Tamaric Jenkins. Tamaric a little banged up in the early part of the season. Looks like he's rounding back into form. He'll be a big piece of the puzzle going down the, the tough stretch of games the Tigers has coming up the last month of the season. Tigers now bringing in their short yardage set. Kyle Davis will come in at a second tight end. Cameron Coleman, Dominique Jackson back in as well. So the Tigers putting in all the heavies. I'd say they score on this one, Mary B. Well, I'm saying uh, they score 24. I'm, I'm, I'm watching him on the sideline. I think he's going to get his helmet on and be ready. I see him straight across. He's ready to go. Cameron Coleman, Dominique Jackson. Dominique Jackson hit at the line of scrimmage, falling forward. He's not going to get in, so nice play there by the Cottage Hill defense. Stopping Dominique Jackson just short of the goal line. It'll be second and goal from there. Under a minute to play here in the opening quarter. T.R. Miller leading 21-0. Keon running toward the Tiger sideline. He'll get the play call, play call there from offensive coordinator Juan Johnson. Coach Johnson doing an outstanding job with the Tiger offense in the first half of the season, creating a good balance of run and pass for a very lethal T.R. Miller offense. Second goal just outside the one. Cameron Coleman gets it. He falls in. Touchdown, T.R. Miller. So T.R. Miller out on top now, 27 Zero, extra point on the way. 18 seconds to play here in the opening quarter. T.R. Miller offense, four for four here tonight. Chard and Johnson lining up the extra point. Once again, Jones manning his holder. Chandler Brown, the snapper. Snaps back, the hole's down, the kick's up. Low line drive, but it's going to be good. So T.R. Miller, 28. Cottage Hill, 0. 18 seconds to play in the first quarter. Here tonight, Dominique Jackson back out to kick again for the Tigers after taking the last one off. He has the whistle. High end over end kick. Watch out, cheerleaders. That's going to go off the fence for a double. After after it lands out of bounds, so Cottage Hill will have it back out the 35-yard line. I don't believe that's uh, one of the footballs the cheerleaders want to throw, Mary B. No, I don't believe so. Uh, David Peace just sent a text. I don't know if he's trying to make it make me jealous. Uh, he's at the dog yard having dove roll-ups, grilled snapper, and wings mm -hmm. right about now. Mm -hmm. I guarantee you he had somebody cook it for him. <laughs> Cottage Hill will take over first and 10 out their 35 yard line. The ball spot in the middle of the field. T.R. Miller leads 28-0. Wide outs to either side. Butler, the quarterback, goes in the shotgun formation. He has a back on either side. First man through is going to get it off right guard. He's hit immediately by Kyle Davis in the radio one, Michael McKinney. McKinney in for the first time tonight. McKinney, the big 6'4 senior, playing varsity football for the first time. Like Jamal Bloodsall, who's in the game as well. They have both been a presence for this defense and special teams here in the first half of the season. That's going to bring the first quarter to an end at the end of one quarter of play. T.R. Miller 28, Cottage Hill 0. We're going to take a short break. And we're back at Cottage Hill Academy at the end of one quarter of play. T.R. Miller 28, Cottage Hill 0. In the first quarter, the Tiger defense created a turnover. The Tiger special teams created one as well. My goodness, Kyle Davis don't kill him. So the Tigers very opportunistic on defense, on a defense and special teams, giving the Tiger offense the ball four times. They capitalized with four scores. That has us at 28-0. This the first play of the second quarter. Kyle Davis stunning from his middle linebacker spot, hit the running back in the backfield, took him back about five yards, and gently dumped him on his head there. That'll bring up a third down and 15. Now back at the 30-yard line of the Warriors. Another third down opportunity here for the defense. Brandon Samuels in the, game, in the game for the Tigers. He's on the near side corner. The Warriors now going from your right to your left on your radio dial. 
Quarterback goes straight back, fires on the near side. That's going to be intercepted. <laughs> nice play there by Brandon Samuels. You can't play it any better than that. He kind of playing a bump and run coverage on the line of scrimmage. Got his hands on the receiver, then turned and ran with him. Bodied up to him, caught the ball at his highest point. Watch that one on Huddle. Watch that one on Bruton TV. And you can't play it any better than Brandon Samuels just played it there, Mary B. No, you can't. You That's can't. how you teach it. Keon Smith oh, rolling out to the far side. He has Cameron Coleman down at the 40-yard line, 35. Cuts back to the middle of the field. Now cuts back to the sideline, 25-20, 15-10. Flag on the play. Touchdown, Cameron Coleman. That one's going to come back. We're going to have a block in the back. And that's going to be one of those that's going to get Coach Riggs excited because it was about 15 yards behind the ball. You can't block behind the ball. So Keon Smith to Cameron Coleman is going to come back on the block in the back. They're going to spot it down at the Cottage Hill 34. So that'll be a pickup of about 16. It'll be first and 10 from there. Twin wideouts to the near side. Win on the outside. Lodge in the slot. Backs in the eye formation. Dominique Jackson gets it off right guard. He's through there like he shot out of a gun. He's going to score on that one. My goodness. Touchdown, T.R. Miller. T.R. Miller 34. Cottage Hill 0. 10-30 here to play in the second quarter. T.R. Miller 5 for 5 on offensive possessions tonight. Making it look pretty easy, Mary B. They're making it look way too easy, DJ. And I, I know I've said that before, and all of a sudden the other team comes back and scores, but I was just trying to go pound for pound. How much do you think we ate, we outweigh these boys? I'm going to say 70 pounds across the line yeah. anyway. Zachary Whitworth probably plus that. <laughs> Chardian Johnson on for his fifth extra point. It's good. I'm worried about Chardian holding up tonight. I am too. That leg is going to get uh, a little tired, I believe. 35-0 your score here. 10-30 to play in the second quarter. Another message that Cottage Hill is the Buffaloes, not the Warriors. So we apologize for that. <laughs> we'll try to get the mascot correct at some point in time during the broadcast. So the Buffaloes trail here, 35-0. Chardian Johnson on his second kickoff attempt. That's going to hit the 20. It's going to be taken there quickly up the 25, 30-yard line. And I don't know if he made the tackle or not, but I'm going to say it. Jamal Bloodsaw <laughs> down for the T.R. Miller Tigers. Ahmad Taylor seriously was in on that tackle. Hey, Jake, did you say a Bayside score? Did eight you say to, that? Eight to seven. Yeah. Jake Nager's now in. Michael Wood's in. Michael Murray back in as well. William Manson Jernigan in. Allen Boyd's going to stay. Kyle Davis stays. Caden Lodge, Kellen Wynn all in. So the Tigers mixing a few ones and a few twos here. Trip Floyd in at a linebacker spot. Wide out to the near side. A tight wing to the far side. Backs in the eye formation. They're going to run the reverse to the near side. The ball's on the ground. My goodness. Still on the ground. Wow. Still on the oh ground. Scooping or still on the we ground. Can't, we can get still it. on the ground. The Tigers are going to have it. Down inside the five yard line. I say Charlie they are. The ball still on the ground. Oh, I thought Charlie It's down around it. the two yard line. Oh. I think Cottage Hill may have finally gotten on it. And they did. Wow. Cottage Hill having about six opportunities to get it. T.R. Miller only having about eight. But Cottage Hill oh, finally boy. gets on it at about the two yard line. The line of scrimmage was the 30. So that was definitely a football folly. As well, it's got... humid out here. The, it's dewy. It's. You make excuses if you want to, Mary yeah, B. That's sloppy football. Slimy. That's sloppy football. <laughs> I'm going to call it second and 62 for the Buffaloes here. They're now in the shadows of their own end zone. Mm. I bet they don't convert this first down. <laughs> Wide outs to either side. Two backs in the back. The powerful T.R. Miller band say, coming just, in. Just in time. And he's hitting the backfield. Don't do it, Allen. They're going to stand him up the line of scrimmage. That's actually Michael Woods. He looked like he was fixing to slap the running back in the DDT. That wouldn't have been a good thing. So that play fails the game. It's going to be third and 76 from there <laughs> for the Buffaloes. 35-0 our score. Eight. 55, 854 here to play in the opening half. I'm not sure what play you have called for this. They're going to give it full back dive. He's hit the line of scrimmage. Trip looks Trip like he Floyd. just almost picked him up. I like, I don't know what what, what he's doing. 
Trip Floyd there on the tackle for the Tigers. So that's going to bring up a fourth and forever. We'll call it fourth and 83 here for the Knights. Tigers getting pressure on a couple of earlier punt attempts. Probably bring it again. Killing Wynn goes back. He'll stand at the Falcons 40 for this one. Brandon Mosley back to punt for the Warriors. Mosley, the punter, he stands at the back end line. Not a whole lot of margin for error here. He gets a snap. Tigers show no rush. They put the return on. Good kick there. That's going to get over Wynn's head. He's got driven back to the 45-yard line, quickly up the 40. Now it takes it to the far sideline. There's a flag on Jamal Bloodsaw blocking the back. Another flag. Wynn took it down to the 25-yard line. That's coming back. Tigers blocking in the back. I even saw that one. <laughs> so that'll put the Tigers. Right here. That'll put the Tigers back near midfield, where they'll take over first and ten. Hunter Harp in for the Tigers. He's getting his first action in on the offensive line. Michael Woods coming in as well. He'll take his first snap. Jones Manning coming in. It's like Keon might be done. I think Jones is going to be the trigger man. Be good to see Jones work with the ones a it little bit be. here. It will be good to see Jones. I always like to watch him play whatever sport he's playing. Tamaric Jenkins is going to be in at tailback. Jalen Jones the fullback. So Cameron Coleman, Dominique Jackson, Keon Smith probably on ice for the rest of this one. Win wide outs to the near side. Win on the outside. Walker in the slot. First and 10 Tigers. Ball, Tigers have it at midfield. He's going to turn and give it to Merritt Jenkins off right guard. He's across the 45 into the 43 yard line. Nice job there by Natures and Castleberry, along with Hunter Harp, creating the running room there for Jenkins. Play picks up seven. We'll call it second down three. 731, 730 here to play in the half. T.R. Miller leading 35 0. I just received another text, DJ. Um, they are the Warriors, not the Buffaloes, from, from a fan. They'll be what I want them to be here tonight, Mary B. <laughs> and don't you forget that. <laughs> Second and two here. Jalen Jones, off right guard, breaks a tackle at the 30-yard line. At the 40-yard line, excuse me, he's into the 35, into the 33-yard line. So good hard running there by Jalen Jones. Jalen, the son of Catman. Those who have listened to T.R. Miller football for many years, Catman Carlos Montgomery, a well-known name in the lures of T.R. Miller football. He was a state champion, along with our friend Johnny Hart on that 94 team that went 15-0. and uh, You know what we call Rucker, don't you? I know what I call him, but I'm not going to say it on the air. Catman. Oh, okay. <laughs> Caterpillar, Catman. I got you. That's what I thought. I didn't know Jalen was related to Rucker. <laughs> <laughs> First and 10 Tigers. The line of scrimmage is the 33. Ahmad Taylor into the fullback. Tamaric Jenkins the tailback. Tamaric Jenkins had a tall sweep to the far side. Now cuts it back to the near side. Makes a man miss. Makes another man miss. He's down inside the 20-yard line. Good nifty footwork there by Tamaric Jenkins. And he has it down inside the 15-yard line. We'll call it the 14-yard line. So the Tiger offense back in the red zone once again. Tigers already leading 35-0. The Hokies been unable to get it going on offense here tonight. Wide outs to either side. Backs in the eye formation. Jones Manning once again in at quarterback. He's under center. Ahmad Taylor, normally at tailback, playing fullback here tonight. He takes it off right guard. He gets down inside the 10-yard line. That's going to be a pickup of about six. That'll make it second down and four. 5.53 here to play in the first half. T.R. Miller in front, 35-0. Hey, are you going to play in that game next Thursday? The homecoming, all the festivities we have going on? I'm going to star in that game. Start or star? Star and start. I'm the coach. You're the coach? Yeah. And the quarterback and the wide receiver? Yeah. Me and John Hart. Uh, how many How many players do we have? Do we know? A bunch. Second down and four. First man through, Amai Taylor. He has it. Not a whole lot of running room there. He picks up maybe one yard. We'll call it third down and three. That game ended in a tie last year, so I know a lot of folks that are interested in uh, settling that thing once and for all next Thursday night. That'll be a big one. Is it same team, same Not same way? It's going to be a little different. John and I can't do everything. <laughs> We're going to get a couple of guys that can help us. 
I just don't want to hear all y'all after the game like I had to listen to last year. Hurt legs, <laughs> hurt hip, had to have ice packs. Hurt feelings. <laughs> hurt feelings. Third down, three, Tiger offense in the red zone. Backs in the eye formation once again. Jones manning the quarterback. They're going to run the counter back to the near side. That's Tamir Jenkins. He's hit wow. hard at the line of scrimmage. One of the Cougars coming up there making a big hit at the line of scrimmage. Play's not going to pick up a first down, but it's going to be close. Fourth and short. Tigers keeping the offense on the field. Killing Wynn back in. Charlie and Johnson out. Wynn's going to be split wide to the near side. Walker a tight wing to the far side. Austin Holmes in at tight end. Jenkins the tailback. They give Damai Taylor off left guard. He has the first down and a little more. He gets down inside the five. Touchdown, T.R. Miller. Ahmad Taylor, the sophomore, picking up his first touchdown tonight. So with 3.56 here to play in the opening half, T.R. Miller, 41. Cottage Hill Wildcats, zero. Extra point on the way. Chardian Johnson with his sixth attempt tonight. Chardian good on the previous five. Jones Manning, the holder. Chandler Brown. The snapper. Snaps back, the hole's down, the kick's up, and it is no good. Looks like someone got a hand on it. No good. The ball hadn't really come off real good on many of the attempts. So charting now five for six on extra points. All right, Charlie and Johnson on the kickoff for the Tigers. He has a spot in the 40. Good line drive kick. We got stoppage uh -huh. on the field. I don't think he had the whistle yet. I think he kicked but prior to the official blowing his whistle. I see Rob Atkinson walking the sideline. Surely he didn't get another flag. Maybe he did. You know, Rob Atkinson's the most penalized coach in Terrell Miller history. He's picked up two flags over the last couple of years, <laughs> and I think they may have just gotten him again. Lisa, if you're listening in. We wish you were here, Lisa. I think he might have just picked up his third one. And that's in a 41 nothing ball game. Actually, I think we did kick it before the whistle was blown. So that's not on Coach A. That's going to be on Chardian C. Chardian J. And here we go again. Low line drive kick. Endo ran. They're going to fall on it at the 35-yard line. So it'll be first and 10 from there. A.J. Daughtery was in on the kickoff coverage team. Tigers sending out the defense. Butler, the quarterback, goes on the shotgun. Trip wide outs to the near side. Tigers showing pressure. Got a flag on the play. Kadarius Jones was fixing to knock another kid's head off. So we probably got lucky we got a whistle there. Going to be movement on Cottage Hill up front. So the Bulldogs, illegal procedure. That's going to back them up five. That'll make it. First and 15, <coughs> the line of scrimmage now, they're on 30-yard line. The ball spotted on the near hash. 3.52 here to play in the half. T.R. Miller leading 41-0. I have another shout-out, DJ, my biggest fan, back listening in Bruton. He comes to every home game but doesn't travel quite as much. Uh, Michael Floyd, if you're listening, he's a seventh grader at the middle school. Do it, Michael. Thanks for listening in, buddy. The Hornets going to try the right side of the Tiger defense in front. Nothing doing there. Michael McKinney on the tackle. That play fails the game. Second down, 15 in our game here. Closing minutes of the first half. Butler goes straight back, fires to the far side. He has his man. He's going to get taken down quickly, though. Nice play there. Kadarius Jones. No, that's going to be Trey Walker coming up, closing quickly from the safety position. Kept that gain to about three, so that's going to make it third down and 11. 252, 251 here to play in the opening half. T.R. Miller leading 41-0. The Lions will have it third and 11 from their own 35-yard line. Lone wide out to the near side, wide out to the far side. Quarterback Butler goes under center. He has one back behind him. The draw blown up immediately. That's Kyle Davis and Allen Boyd knifing in from their defensive tackle and linebacker positions, respectively. That play is going to lose three yards, so that's going to bring on another punting situation. 
fourth and 14 now. Killing Wynn coming back out for the Tigers. He's going to stand somewhere around his 36 yard line. Tigers, I'm sure, will not pressure here. They'll try to set up some sort of return. If Jamal Bloodsaw can get back and set the wedge, you never know. 147, 146, 145. Clock continues to run. The snap's back. There's no pressure. Low line drive. That's going to be returnable if he wants it. Win takes it to 35 on the far sideline. 40, 45, 50, 45, 40. Cuts wow. back. Now cuts back to the sideline. 35, 30, 25, 20, 15, 10, 5. Touchdown. Killing win flag oh, on the play. Man. And I think he just threw it to throw it. They're going to have the blocking in the back once again behind the run. That's going to be on Kadarius Jones, but that's going to be phantom, and I understand it. I understand it. I don't think that he'll get coached up on that one. Killing Wynn, about a 70-yard punt return for a touchdown. He was 10 yards in front of Kadarius, and the hanky came out. But uh, just understand the situation we're in here and why the flag got to hit the ground. But Kadarius will not be coached up on that one, I do not believe. Tigers 125 here to play in the opening half. Now a lot more substitutions taking place. Cam Morris in the ball game for the Tigers. He's getting his first action. Austin Holmes back in at tight end. Jones Manning's going to stay in at quarterback. Hunter Harpin Woods on the left side. Christian Smith in at fullback. This will be his first action here tonight. He's going to get it off right guard. He busts through. He's in the, that ball's on the oh. ground after about a 10 yard run. Tigers recover. Christian Smith just ripped one up the middle. He was going to be down inside the 10-yard line, maybe inside the five. Ball pops out. Tigers recover it. It's going to be a pickup of about nine yards. It'll be second short at or around the 10-yard line. I don't have the, bat, the best vantage point, but it'll be there. Tigers taking their time. Actually, there's going to be a timeout on the field. The officials are going to take time and measure. So Christian Smith right at the first down marker when the ball popped out possibly could have scored with it. But we'll wait and get the measurement. Chain's coming out. What do you think, Mary V? Yeah or nay? I think, uh, I'm going to say nay. <laughs> he is going to be short. He's going to be about a football short. So we'll call it second down from there. They'll get the chains reset. They'll start the clock. Don't know where the shot clock will be, but the Tigers probably not in a tremendous hurry to get off too many more snaps here this half. Jones manning the quarterback. He is taking his time. He's looking back at Coach Johnson. They're going to get the shot clock down as far as they can. Coach Johnson tells Jones to go ahead. Ahmad Taylor is going to have it off right guard. He has the first down. That will stop the clock momentarily while they reset the chains. Wide out to either side. Jenkins the tailback. Taylor the fullback. Jones manning the quarterback. This will be the last snap of the half. Taylor gets it off left guard. He stood up at the line of scrimmage, falling forward. He'll go down at about the one-yard line, so that'll end the half. At the half, T.R. Miller 41, Cottage Hill 0. You were listening to T.R. Miller Football 106.3. The Tigers will receive the kickoff to start the second half. Tigers will be going from your left to your right on the radio dial. Going back deep for the Tigers will be Tamerit Jenkins. To his left will be A.J. Daudry. To his right, Ahmad Taylor. Christian Smith will be in up back. So Tigers already working in some of the younger guys here. We expect to see them exclusively here throughout the second half. And even though... Uh, T.R. Miller is going to win this game. I can promise you the coaches will expect the young boys to go out and execute and play hard because they will be in positions of much more importance in games down the road. We have the whistle. Cottage Hill set to kick. A little high end over end kick to the far side. Wind signals for the fair catch. He has it there at the 35-yard line. So that'll put the Tiger offense in play there. And we will start with the twos. Jones Manning will come out at quarterback. Jake Nager, the center. It's going to be Castleberry to guard, Cam Morris at a tackle, Holmes is tight in. 
Isn't that Duncan Britt? Is that 57? Christian Smith at fullback. We'll get them as they come out of the huddle. Wynn's going to stay in the ball game. I think that is going to be uh, that is going to be Duncan Britton and Woods here on the near side, guard and tackle respectively. Manning goes under center. They're going to run the counter back to the far side. That's Ahmad Taylor. Ahmad ended the first half at fullback, starting the second half at his more customary position, tailback. He takes counter to the far side of the field, picks up five. Johnson That'll bring up a second down and five. Chardy and Johnson in, win out. He's going to be split wide to the near side. Lodge, the lone remaining starter in the game, he'll be in the slot to the near side as well. Tight end Holmes at the far side, backs in the eye formation. Manning, the quarterback, goes under center. First man throws Christian Smith off right guard. Good job of keeping his feet moving. Hit at the line of scrimmage, manages to fight forward for about three yards. That'll have the Tigers. They're actually going to give him, yeah, we'll call it three. That'll be third and two. As Christian Smith takes it up to the 46-yard line here on the opening drive in the second half. Once again, if you're just joining us, T.R. Miller jumping out to a 41-0 halftime advantage here against the Cottage Hill Cheetahs. <laughs> Third down, two. Wide out to the near side is win. Tight wing to the far side is Lodge. Backs in the eye formation. Christian Smith off left guard. Hit right at the first down marker. He's going to be a little oh. short. Ball pops out. I think they're going to call him down. So Christian Smith putting the ball in the second, putting the ball on the ground for the second time tonight. He's right at the first down marker. It's going to depend on the spot. He's going to get the left foot spot. He's going to be a half a football short. Tigers not showing signs of punting yet. Fourth and one for the Tigers. It looks like the Tigers are going to go for it. Offense stays on the field. So Cottage Hill coming out. Playing determined defense here to open the second half. Wide outs to either side. Backs once again the eye formation. Jones Manning's going to turn and give Dodd Taylor. He's going to have the first down. He's going to have more. Bounces it out to the near sideline. 45-40. Outruns a man 35-30. Makes a man miss 25-20. Wow. Makes another man miss 15-10. Still on his feet. Down to the five. Still on his feet. Finally run out of bounds around the four-yard line. Dodd Taylor showing a little bit of everything there. Speed, power. In and out. He's going to be a good one, Mary B. He is going to be a good one. You, you're right about that, DJ. And so is uh, you talk about Christian Smith. He's going to be another another name to, that you will hear lots of in, in the future of T.R. Miller football. Ahmad Taylor in that preseason scrimmage at T.R. Miller night ran for about 400 yards, mm -hmm. if you remember correctly, just ran up and down he the did. field that he night. Did. So Ahmad Taylor, of course, having to buy this time behind Dominique Jackson and McHenry Coleman. His day is coming, and he's going to be a good one when that day comes. He now rotates up to fullback. Demerit Jenkins comes in at tailback, first and goal, Tigers. Miscommunication on the play, Jones Manning keeps it on a busted play, tries to go around the far side of the field, around Jones left end. He might have gotten back to the original line of scrimmage. He actually got a yard. Christian Smith went off right guard. Jones Manning went to hand off on left guard. So Jones wisely keeps it, ducks up in the hole, picks up a yard. It'll be second and goal from about the three and a half. This the opening drive of the second half, 8.43, 8.42, 8.41 here to play in the third quarter. T.R. Miller leads 41-0. Chardy and Johnson, the third quarterback on the roster. You would think we'd see him at some point tonight as well. Jones getting some much needed work here. He's always one play away from running with the ones. Definitely don't want anything to happen to Keon Smith, but this football team can win with Jones Manning at quarterback. Yeah. I assure you of that. Ahmad Taylor off left tackle. Picks up two yards. He's down inside the one. It'll be third and goal from there. Manning runs over to the sideline. Quick conversation with uh, Riggs. I think I know what's coming here. I think we're fixing to pitch it on the ground and recover it. I don't believe we're going to score. Third and goal inside the one. Backs in the eye formation. And there it is on the ground. <laughs> and Manning falls on it <clears throat> back you know around that? the 20-yard line. I've seen T.R. Miller play a lot of football. <laughs> so that's going to bring up a fourth and goal. Now back out to the 20-yard line. So the score remains 41-0.
Tigers down inside the one. Now back out around the 18 yard line. It'll be fourth and goal from there. Probably gonna get full back dive here. I see him. And they're gonna run the counter back to the far side. That's Tamaric Jenkins. He picks up about five. It was fourth and goal from there. So Cottage Hill will take over on downs. It'll be inside the 15 yard line around the 13. So it'll be first and goal from there. Tiger One's coming out on defense. <laughs> but Brooks Brown coming in with them. That's what I'm talking about. And Chandler going out. So Brooks tapping in, <laughs> tapping out Big Brother. That's how we do it at our house. Boyd McKinney, Castleberry across the front. Jackson, Davis, Coleman, Lodge, the linebackers. First down, tall sweep to the near side. Lodge, Dominique Jackson there on the tackle for the Tigers. Kyle Davis also. That play's going to pick up about six. And of course, already had the incredible game of Bayside a couple of weeks ago. Second and five. Cottage Hill runs fullback dive. He's going to have the first down. He gets out across the 25-yard line into the 26. Clock continues to run. We're under five and a half minutes to play in the third quarter. T.R. Miller leads 41-0. So the Trailblazers with their first 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 down here in the second half. Getting their off offense on court just a bit. Wide out to either side. The Butler did it to quarterback. He's in the shotgun formation. Now the tight end of the far side splits out as well. Tiger showing a little bit of pressure, no flag. That's going to be thrown across the middle. Kyle Davis deflects that one. That'll fall incomplete. Brooks Brown on the coverage. That'll bring up second down 10. Ashton Wilson in along with Jamal Blutzall. <laughs> Castleberry, Jalen Jones out. Second down 10 here for the Panthers on their first drive here in the third quarter. Wide out to either side. Quarterback goes under center, play action pass. He's gonna give on the cross buck to the second man through. That play's gonna fail to gain. Trip Floyd, Kyle Davis there on the tackles. David Ward with the carry. Line of scrimmage will be the Horn Frog 30, no, the Horn Frog 27. And it'll be third and eight from there. Twin wide outs to the far side, long wide out to the near side, but the quarterback goes straight back. They're setting up the screen. He has it. Nice play there. Tigers in pursuit. They're going to get him just short of the first down. The running back stumbled just a bit. Pass the middle, nice play design there by the Seahawks. That picks up about six, seven yards. Going to bring up a fourth and we'll call it four. Seahawks showing signs of going for it. Brooks going back now and Punt return formation, so they are showing punt. They broke the huddle. I don't know what's going on. These guys moving everywhere. I mean, there's people running all over the field. Rugby style punt. He kicks it. Brooks is going to get over, take it on a bounce. Get out of the way, Brooks. There you go, Brooks. Oh, Lord, scared me for a minute. Kind of, they gave it to him. Yes, sir. They said it hit Brooks' leg. Oh, it didn't hit him. Come on. Look at the I'll score. have to watch huddle for that. Look at the scoreboard. By number one, Brandon. Mm. Wow. So the Panthers have it on the on the turnover. They'll have it first and ten now down at the Tiger 30-yard line. I still disagree with that. Ball going to be spotted on the far hash. The Browns are in business first and ten <laughs> at the 30-yard line. He's still in the game, so I don't think he touched it. <laughs> Good point. Butler, the quarterback, in the shotgun formation. He goes straight back. He looks. He fires the fade down the far side. That's going to wow. be picked off by Charlie and Johnson. He's going to catch it and get his feet down and go out of bounds somewhere around the eight-yard line. So the Tigers, with their second interception here tonight, able to avoid the costly turnover by Brooks Brown <laughs> on the muff punt return. Poor little Brooks. Tigers first and ten from their own six-yard line. Two minutes in a. Quickly played third quarter. That's good. Keep it going. Tigers lead 41-0. Here we go. First and 10 Tigers. Brooks Brown split wide to the near side. The Tigers going left to right on your radio dial. Tamaric Jenkins off round left end. Still on his feet out near the first down marker. He's right at it. So that'll be a pickup of right at 10 yards. They're going to move the chains. That's going to be a first down. 
Christian Mansell in the game for the Tigers. Hunter Harp in as well. Duncan Britton. That's going to be Aaron Nicholson in. So the Tigers continue to get new bodies in. Austin Kane in. Wynn done. So Wynn's done for the night, you would think. We hope. These guys get some invaluable playing experience here. This will this will prove good down the road for these young guys to come in and get some game experience. Practice is important, but you got to play to get better. First and ten, Tigers backs in the eye formation. Counter back to the far side. That's to Merritt Jenkins. He's up across the 25-yard line or right at the 25-yard line. Under 30 seconds here to play in the third quarter. Two-yard middle leads, 41-0. Kane split wide to the near side. Daugherty wide to the far side. The ball spotted on the far hash. Second down, five Tigers. Jenkins the tailback. Taylor the fullback. Taylor gets it off left guard, bounces it out the far side. He has the first down. He has more. 40-45. Run out of bounds around the 48-yard line. Excuse me, around the 43-yard line. David Ward. So stop big pickup there for Ahmad Taylor and another Tiger first down. Clock stops with... 10 seconds here to play in the third quarter. Tiger offense on the move. Mansell a tackle, Christian Mansell. Hunter Harp a guard. Brooks Brown a one, one wide out, Kane the other. Taylor the fullback, Jenkins the tailback. Manning the quarterback goes under center. Gonna get to Taylor off right guard, now cuts it back to the far side. He's still on his feet out across midfield into, into Leopard's territory. He's going to have a first down. That's going to be a pickup of about 13, and that's going to bring us to the end of the third quarter of play. At the end of three quarters of play, T.R. Miller 41, Cottage Hill 0. Booker now in. Booker, another Tiger freshman. He's going to be split wide to the near side. That's JoJo Booker, son of Joey and Christina Booker, getting his first, first action here tonight. I think his first varsity action of the season, so it's good to see him out. Backs in the eye formation, ball on the ground. Joe's Manning picks it up. Makes a man miss. He better get on the ground, and he does. Jones gets it back to the line of scrimmage. Off the drop snout. It'll be second and ten from there as we get the fourth quarter underway. T.R. Miller, 41, the Jets, zero. Wide outs to either side. The counter back to the near side. That's going to be Tamara Jenkins. He's in the 45-40. Drag down there. He'll be about two yards short of the first down for the line of scrimmage. The Oilers 38, it'll be third and two from there. Tiger offense on the move once again, 11 minutes here to play in the ball game. Keyshawn Patel in the game for the Tigers. Ahmad Taylor off right guard, diving for the first down marker. He's gonna be close, gonna get a flag on that. That's gonna be on like conduct on a Chief player. So the play was gonna be right at the first down marker. After you add the 15, that'll be more than enough for the first down. Personal foul on the Chiefs. First down, Tigers. Marking off, that's a big 15. That's going to take it all the way down to the Saints, 22. It'll be first and 10 for there. So by my math, all Tiger players that have dressed out here tonight Almost all the players have made an appearance. Yes. <laughs> it's probably coming. First and 10, T.R. Miller. Booker split wide to the far side, Patel wide to the near side. Holmes the tight end to the far side, the ball on the near hash. Taylor the fullback, he's gonna get it off left guard. Fighting forward, not much running room there. May pick up two yards, it'll be second and eight. Good play there by the Falcons. I hope all these parents of these younger kids came tonight to get to see their babies play. They're getting in tonight. What time are y'all leaving in the morning? I'm gonna leave at 12. I got a little triathlon I gotta knock out in the morning. Oh, I forgot about that. Is Billy doing it with you? Did you talk oh, into no. it? Oh, no. Y'all watching, no, no. I mean, you're not wearing matching outfits? No, nah, it'll probably take me 30 or 40 minutes. So it won't delay as much. To Merritt Jenkins counter to the far side. Once again, two or three yards, earning those the, t the hard way. Are you wearing a Speedo? What, what, what kind uh, of? Just no. Your standard triathlon gear. What I've, what, I've, what I've worn in the rest of them. Swim cap? Oh, yeah. I'm going to need photos. Third and three here for the Tigers. Godwin in the game for the Tigers. Tigers continue to rotate bodies in and out. Under nine minutes here to play. Third and four, T.R. Miller. 
the line of scrimmage, the Wildcat 17. Backs in the eye formation. Jones Manning now moving Ahmad Taylor over offset eye to the near side. Jenkins gets it off left tackle, cuts back to the far side, makes a man miss. He's going to go in, touchdown T.R. Miller. There are no flags. So with 7.56, 7.55 here to play, T.R. Miller 47, Cottage Hill 0. For some people, this extra point's a big one. Mercifully, the clock continues to run. They just stopped it, so we'll take it every chance you get. Get another minute off. Chandler Brown, the snapper. Jones Manning, the holder. Charlie and Johnson on for his seventh attempt. Snaps back, the hole's down, the kick is up, and it is no good. Wow. So Chardian, five for seven here tonight on extra points. Misses that one. Chardian Johnson on to kick off after being unsuccessful on the last extra point. High end over end kick, not particularly deep. That would have been wide right as well on the far sideline. Up near the 30, maybe the 31 yard line. It'll be first and 10 there. 82. Willie Y. Willie Y in at outside linebacker. Kane's going to be at the near side outside linebacker. Or excuse me, Kane's in the near side corner. That's going to be Daughtery. Here comes the band with beginnings. Love to hear that. The Longhorn running back takes it off right tackle. Michael Murray there with the initial contact. Assist coming from Trip Floyd. Play picks up three. We'll call it second down seven. Under seven minutes to play. Some of our fans are up. I see them. They're shaking, doing a little dancing, moving their arms. Probably trying to wake up. <laughs> Probably Second so. down eight. Play action pass. He's going to roll the near side. He's in trouble. Journey hey, has got him. There's a flag. There go. Believe it or not, that's going to be face mask on the quarterback. Yeah, it needs to be. Jernigan never give, never giving up pursuit. Tackles him out of bounds. That's going to be a flag on Jernigan. So we're going to get offsetting penalties here. I don't know if that's play over or if you give him the down and distance. But we had a face mask on the quarterback. He was actually face masking Jernigan, who was in pursuit. Jernigan continued to pursue. Body slammed him on the sideline after getting out of bounds, drawing a personal foul on him. So here we go. On the offense. And dead ball, personal foul. Oh, oh both, both of them, them on the wow. offense. So that's going to take it way back. That'll be interesting. So you had face mask on the offense. Oh. Uh, I don't think that's right. No, he came back. He's, yeah. he's correct. Yeah. Him. These guys, it's been tough for everybody here tonight. So we're going to get offensive face mask in a late hit out of bounds called against the Tigers. on the Owls. And then we'll get a personal foul on the Tigers. So we'll see what this does to down and distance. I guess they're going to step off the face mask first. That takes it back to the 15. Now they're going to bring it back 15 more. So really you had to do nothing. I was going to say, isn't that where we started? <laughs> Second down, 10. A little bit all of it here tonight. The Bruins have it. 6.20 here to play in the ball game. They trail 47-0. Play action pass. Screen to the near side. Tigers in pursuit. Hold him up. Tigers quickly there. That play is going to pick up about two yards. Daugherty and Kane on the tackle for the Tigers. Jernigan assisting as well. Nice defense there for the Tigers. Third down, seven. The line of scrimmage, the Seminole 33. Twin wide outs to the far side, a long wide out to the near side. Pickney now motions over to the far side. Quarterback Butler goes straight back. He looks. He's in trouble. He's going to scramble, running for his life. Somebody hit him. Good scramble. Good run there. He's going to be up near the first down. He gets to the 40-yard line. That was the line to make for the first down. I think he's going to have it. I think you're right. So that's going to move the chains. That is going to be a first down. So the new line of scrimmage, the Buckeye 41. First and 10 from there. 
That get us down at the five minute mark. Swiftly played second half. Thirty-two eight. WS Neal, five forty left in the third quarter. Twin wide outs to the far side, twin wide outs to the near side. Quarterback in the shotgun formation. He goes straight back, he looks, he fires across the middle, in and out of the hands of Jake Nagers. Jake Nagers, this may hurt some. He runs in with that one, possibly walks the last 25 yards. Pass falls incomplete. Won't get many more opportunities like that. Good recognition there by Nagers getting his hands up. He's upset with himself. Look at him, look at him. <laughs> He's upset with himself, but just couldn't quite get the deal closed there. Second down and 10 here for the Badgers. The line of scrimmage is there on the 40-yard line. They're going to fake the pass, run the draw to the near side. Jernigan, nice job of turning that play back in. Ahmad Taylor up quickly. That play picks up one, maybe two yards. It'll be third and eight from there. Nice play there by Yancey Jernigan holding the point of attack. Setting the edge for the Tiger defense. Third and eight, Hawkeyes. They're gonna set up the screen, they have it. Pinkerton cuts back to the near side. Harp there for the tackle. Harp comes away with the ball. Not sure who they're gonna give it to. They're calling fourth down. So Harp coming back from his defensive tackle position makes the tackle fourth and two at the 49 yard line. Under four minutes here to play in the ball game. Patel in, Taylor out. Tigers gonna move their record to six and oh. More importantly, three and oh in region one. Here we go. Twin wide outs to the far side, twin wide outs to the near side. Ball on the near hash, the far side, the Tiger sideline. Timeout on the field. Timeout Tar Heels. 3.02 here to play in the ball game. Well, here we go. Fourth and two. The line of scrimmage, the Cardinal 49 yard line. Just short of midfield. Tiger defense digging in. 3.02 here to play in the ball game. TR Middle leads 47 0. Quarterback goes under center. He's going to get, run the option at the far side. He cuts back in. He's hit immediately by Trip Floyd. He's not going to have the first down. He barely got back to the line of scrimmage. They're running option to the far side. Great play there by Trip Floyd. Came up from his linebacker's position. Wow. They Look at the spot. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> a one-yard loss magically turns into a two-yard gain. That's what you get sometimes in games like this. Plays good enough for another <laughs> Clock's running 236, 235. So, anywho. <laughs> First and 10 Bengals. The line of scrimmage now the Tiger 49 yard line. Twin wide outs either side. Quarterback goes straight back. He's looking, he's looking. He fires down the middle of the field. Wide open tip. Oh, caught by the Leopards <laughs> receiver at the 35-yard line. Michael Murray knows a flag on the play. <laughs> wow. Things really getting interesting now. Michael Murray for the Tigers had his hand on the ball. He tipped it straight up. The Leopards receiver comes down with it. He's tackled the 38-yard line. Flag on the play. We'll wait and see what they've made up here. I mean, what they've called here. Looks like it's going to be stepped off against the Tigers. And it is going to be a face mask. So that's going to move it down another 15. All right, just going to be five. That'll put it inside the 30 down to the 29-yard line. So that'll get the change reset and get the clock started. So this is very interesting here. Wow. How many penalties have we had in the fourth quarter? Whew. Here we go, first and 10, twin wide outs either side. Bunt with the quarterback in the shotgun formation. Tigers showing pressure, here they come. Booker has him, balls on the good. ground, scoop and score. Ball and ball. Bollenbacher falls on top of it. I think he's got it. Actually, I think they're, 
Did they? They're calling it a complete oh, pass. <laughs> <laughs> so Booker on the sack, causing the fumble, turns into an incomplete pass. I'm telling you, 24 did not touch the ball. Wow. <laughs> I'm just telling you. 151 here to play in the ball game. Second down, 10. Interesting, <laughs> interesting set of plays here coming down the stretch. Clock stopped. 151. Nice play there by JoJo Booker from the outside linebacker position. Applying the pressure. Butler now goes under center. Pickney, the tailback. Leopards in the eye formation. They're going to run the counter back to the near side. Well, Booker had in the him. backfield. Couldn't hold on. Nice job there by Kane coming up from. That's going to be Daughtry coming up. I'm sorry. Daughtry, very physical off the corner. Hits Pickney for a loss. That's going to lose a couple of yards. That'll take it back to the 30-yard line here on the near hash. Nice play there by Daughtry, initially by Booker getting the pressure. So the Young Tigers playing extremely hard here themselves. Third down, 12. 120 to play in the ball game. Patel in on the near side corner. Still looking for some scores from the Neal game. If he might like to pass them along before we go off the air, we could get those out. Braves already in as a winner tonight. Even that series at one and one. Little movement up front. They're going to set up the screen. They have it at the far side of the field. Nice play there. Trip Floyd all over that. Nothing Bunkers doing to the far side of the field. Seven, Trip Moore. takes him down for no gains. That'll bring up a fourth down at 12. We're under a minute to play. Tigers need to make one more stop here. And that'll wind this one up. 44, 43, 42, 41. Ball spot in the middle of the field. Dodry at one corner, Patel at the other. Brooks, Brown, and Kane, the safeties. Looking for Butler to go deep here with this one. See if the young Tiger secondary can hold up. Tiger's been able to apply some pressure. Here comes Nagers. Here comes Booker. Here comes Smith. They fire to the near side. That's going to fall incomplete. So the Tigers will take over on downs. 15 seconds here to go in the ball game. The Tigers will get in victory formation. They'll snap at one time. And this will be a final in Mobile, Alabama. T.R. Miller is going to win the ball game 47 to zero. T.R. Miller will move to six and zero on the year. More importantly, three and zero in Region One. I know Tiger fans in the listening area and across the country will be paying attention to that Bayside Strawn score. We haven't had one in a while. If anybody has one and would like to text it in, we sure would like to pass it along before we leave the broadcast here tonight, as well as the most up-to-date score from the WS Neil XL game. Got one coming in now. Nope, I agree. Unbelievable. <laughs> and Charlie Johnson going to ride his man through, and that's going to end the ball game. Christian Smith getting the last carry of the night. Going to pick up six yards, and that's going to do it. Teams now making their way on the field. So once again, our final score here tonight, T.R. Miller 47, Cottage Hill 0. For those of you that are listening tonight, we appreciate your support of T.R. Miller football. And